I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus right here. And I've seen a number of comments complaining about the Android 11 update for this device. I know a lot of people were really happy with their, their Galaxy S10 series smartphone when it was on the Android 10 update. So today I'm going to show you how to take your Galaxy S10 with the Android 11 update installed and downgrade it and downgrade it from Android 11 down to Android 10. Now I will say this is something that I generally do not recommend because you are giving up some usually important security updates in order to downgrade. However, again, I, I understand that there are some people who are adamantly against the Android 11 update. They have loathed everything about it since they installed it. Many people have regretted installing it. So as a solution to those users, I'm going to be offering this downgrade tutorial. So to begin, we're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. First, you're going to need to download the firmware you're going to downgrade to. Now, yesterday I specifically did a tutorial that showed you how to download old and archived Samsung smartphone firmware. So I'm going to be linking to that in the video description because you're going to need to download and extract a firmware file that matches your device. It needs to match the same model number as well as the same CSC region code for your device. Now you're also going to need to have Odin, the latest version of Odin, downloaded and extracted on your computer. And we're going to need to have a USB cable with a PC so that we can connect our phone to the PC while we are in download mode. So anyone who is not familiar with booting their device into download mode, again, I'll be linking to a separate tutorial in the video description for those who are unfamiliar. And we do that by pressing and holding the Bixby button and the volume down button for a few seconds while inserting a USB cable. And once you see the device is booted into this blue splash screen, we're going to simply press the volume up button, not a long press, just a regular volume up button press to bypass that screen and then get us into download mode. Now that we have the Samsung Galaxy S10 in download mode, we can continue with the downgrade process by opening up Odin. And like I said, we're going to need to have the firmware that we want to downgrade to extracted on your PC. So this is the firmware file I downloaded. And when I extracted the contents of that file, I got these five files, an AB, an AP file, a BL file, a CP file, a CSC file, and then a home underscore CSC file. So we're going to be using the first four files of this loaded into Odin. So with our S10 connected to the PC with a USB cable, while it is in download mode, should give you an added message at the bottom of the log window. You should also see a com and then a number somewhere in this top section. It just depends on which port you have it connected to. And then we're going to start loading that firmware in here. So we're going to click the BL file right here. We're going to go into the folder with our firmware and we're going to select the BL file. Then we're going to click the CP file. 
You can do these in any order and then select the CP file. We're going to select the CSC button and then choose the regular CSC file. And lastly, we're going to click the AP button. And I generally save this one for last because it is a lot bigger of a file than the other ones that we loaded. And when we load that AP file into Odin, it's going to take a few seconds for Odin to actually load that file. You may see the Odin program look like it's going to time out, but we're just going to be patient. We're going to let the computer extract that file and load the contents into Odin properly. And we should see this not responding message go away after a few seconds. There we go. Once we have all four files loaded into Odin, as you can see here, we are now able to click the start button at the bottom. Now be aware, downgrading to Android 10 is going to wipe all of the data you have on your device. So back up any important information, any pictures, games, videos, before you click this start button. When you're ready though, just go ahead and click the start button and you can actually follow along with what Odin is flashing or installing onto our Galaxy S10 Plus right here. You see it's sending these bin files at first. So not only is it sending those files to the phone, it's also copying the contents of these files onto the partitions of Android. After it finishes up the bin files, it then moves on to some image files. And while this is all happening, we just want to be patient. We don't want to tinker with the phone. We don't want to mess with the USB cable. We just want to keep the connection solid for the couple of minutes while Odin flashes this firmware. What we're going to be looking for is a green pass message right here, as well as no error messages in the log. But again, we're not clicking anything. We're not touching anything. We're just letting the phone flash. So there we go. We got the green pass message. And as soon as that happened, our Galaxy S10 rebooted on its own and we, we received a succeed one message right there at the bottom of the log. So our Galaxy S10 rebooted on its own after Odin was finished. We saw a factory reset meter go by as the device was re reset. And then again, it rebooted on its own. And now it's going through the, the regular boot up process. And I do want to say once all of that is done and the phone is rebooting on its own, we can then unplug that USB cable because that connection is no longer needed. We can exit out Odin if you want. But we just want to be patient again because this boot process is going to take a little bit longer than normal on the first time. 
Remember, Android just got reset and has to set some things back up. and you should instantly be taken to the Android activation screen. Since I'm using the Panama region code, it's not gonna be in English to start off, but we can simply change that. And that's gonna depend entirely on which firmware you actually download. Just going to skip through this activation. So that I can show you the device has indeed been downgraded to Android 10. So now we are back down to Android 10 based on One UI 2.5. As that is the entire process of how to downgrade the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, the Galaxy S10 E, and the Galaxy S10 FE. You should be able to downgrade all of those devices from Android 11 to Android 10 with Odin.